Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop of Beetlejuice dressed as Adam. Out of the four Funko Mystery Horror Pops available at Hot Topic, this was the one I was most excited about getting. Until I looked at it, and after a few seconds went, hey, wait a minute. See, there's a problem with this pop, and that is that it's a recycled body being reused as a variant, which Funko does from time to time, and I get it, it's a cost-saving measure. Why make a brand new body for a limited run variant when we can just recycle a previously used body that's kind of similar to what we're going for? And sometimes it works, like uh, Conan O'Brien. They made the new Conan head, and they just repurposed the Michael Bluth body from Arrested Development. And it works, because it's a guy in a suit, no problem. But here, it doesn't really work, and I'll tell you why. Reason number one, in Beetlejuice, when he looks like Adam, his sleeves aren't rolled up, so that's not accurate at all. He is wearing a watch, you can see briefly in that scene, it does slip out, but the sleeves are not rolled up. Two, the pattern's all wrong. In the movie, he's wearing like a plaid pattern. It's thick white lines with equal thick black lines that intersect and create gray squares. So it's a checker pattern. It's black, white, and gray squares. This is not that. This is uh, a white shirt with thinner black lines. Like the black and the white aren't even equal, so they didn't even try to like create a checker type effect. These black lines are too thin. Also, uh, his shirt's hanging out. Like in the movie, it's clearly tucked in. So they picked a body where the shirt is untucked and that's just, well, wrong. You can see here just like the way it's kind of sculpted to hang over the crotch and the way it hangs at the waist that this is an untucked shirt. Um, and also in the movie, like he's got a big old gut and especially when you see him next to Adam, like when you see the two guys wearing the same shirts, like the gut is really sticking out. There's no gut sculpted here. However, there is no gut sculpted on the original Beetlejuice, so I can't really fault them for at least trying to stay consistent with that. But what we have here is a pop that doesn't really adhere to like the look that they're supposed to be going for. Like there's a look that he has and this really isn't it. So that's a bit of a problem. However, beyond that though, I can stop being like a little nitpicky prick about this and still acknowledge it when you look at it, you totally get that it's Beetlejuice as Adam. Now here's Beetlejuice next to the uh, the new one, just so you can kind of see uh, the differences in the head because there are some differences between the head. Uh, one, this one's got purple eyes, like purple stuff around the eyes, this one has gray. Also, there's a lot less schmutz around the, uh, the edge of his head where his face meets the hair than the original. Knocked it over. So there are some differences there if you care about that sort of thing. Lastly, the line underneath his teeth here is a dark brown paint, whereas the line under the teeth here is like a dark purple, almost burgundy. So yeah, there are a few differences between the paint being applied to the, uh, the new Beetlejuice head. Now, I can complain all I want about the differences between the two of these, but there's no denying that when you look at this pop, you get that it's Beetlejuice's Adam. So in that sense, yeah, I still like it. Uh, and the quality of the figure is pretty good as far as the sculpt of the body, you know, like the position of his hero pose hands. Uh, the sculpt of the watch is clean and well painted. I do like that they painted the little red t-shirt underneath the collar neck area, because that is pretty accurate. Um, the paint of the hands where it meets the sleeves is good. The wrinkling of the pants is decent. Um, and the, uh, the hairline on this one is actually painted pretty well. I like the sculpt of the Beetlejuice head. I like his zany hair. Uh, the eyeball paint and eyebrows are good. I like the eyebrows. There's a lot of good personality, and I like they're sculpted in and not just painted on. You don't see that a lot with Pops. Usually, eyebrows are painted on. So, in the end, yeah, I can complain but I also still give this a pass. And that's because, well, one, I really like Beetlejuice, and two, I love the whole Adam Beetlejuice scene. It really just cracks me up when they're in the graveyard. So sometimes I'm really easy to please, and despite all my complaints, I still like this. So thanks for watching, everybody, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that crap.